Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to talk about my vintage MS Tiny Belit. I purchased this from a reputable eBay seller around a year, year and a half ago, and it is in black box calf leather. Uh, it is very, very small. It is a true micro bag, and I'm not going to show you how small it is. Uh, now, the height of the bag is 12 cm, and then the width is 17 around 17 cm the depth around six and a half cm um, with five feet gold hardware and with a shoulder strap that is 97 cm long uh, I cannot wear it cross body I don't think uh, I can yeah I cannot wear it cross body uh, so I can just wear it on one shoulder yeah so Here's a close-up of the bag. So as you see, uh, the condition of the leather is quite good. Uh, but then there's problem on the handles, which I'm going to talk about later. But then you can see that the it's the stitching, the typical stitching with uh, slanted stitching. And a very typical bleed feature with the oval piece of leather uh, stitched in with nothing embossed on it. And then here is the part where you normally see on the side and on the other side you see a clear zipper which is very typical uh, to be found on vintage MS bags so the eclair zipper in brass and there's one part missing the little leather tag uh, it's like a diamond kite shaped tag that part is missing so I talked to uh, so so there's there's like peeling here a little bit more serious in the front so as you can see very typical of box calf leather vintage box calf leather you see cracking peeling and um, there was a show called leather forever organized by MS a uh, year and year and a half ago uh, right after I purchased this item so it was a perfect timing because there's a craftsman there showing people how a bag is made and I took this bag to him and show him this bag and uh, I asked him about the zipper and he says uh, it is the original zipper uh, like for a vintage bag and then uh, I asked him this part and asked him if it's going to break and he said it's not going to break anytime soon and MS bags are very durable and he doesn't see it breaking anytime soon uh, as for cracking, you know, there's really nothing much he can do to it unless it's replacing the whole handle. So I'll think about it. I know it's going to cost a lot. And uh, so I'm going to tell you what I do uh, to cover it up later. But then uh, there's also some peeling or cracking in the strap part right here uh, where, where, the where it sits on the shoulder. Uh, because it's so thin, sometimes it twists. And then if I wear it like twisted, then I will further crack it. So now I'm very careful when I wear it, I make sure that I flatten it uh, before I, I use it so that it's not twisted when it's on my shoulder. So um, so I use this bag as an evening bag sometimes and as a daytime bag. Uh, and when I use it as a daytime bag, I'll use the shoulder strap. And when I use it as an evening bag, I'll use the handle, I'll hold it. So um, I'm going to now show you the inside of the bag. Uh, the zipper uh, is very smooth, uh, very typical of MS. And here you can see the MS Paris made in France right here. And it might look like suede, but it's just leather. And I guess because it is old, um, you know, it's kind of not uh, black black. It's like kind of grayish black but there's not a lot of scratching and there's no peeling uh there's no cracking of leather inside and it's still very very smooth yeah so here it is the bag and i use um i i, I don't use this bag a lot uh, because it can only fit my iphone and some cash and some cards and my lipstick uh and so i don't use this bag a lot but uh enough that uh, I, I find this bag sometimes quite versatile, vers vers blah, 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 versatile and this is what I do to cover up the handle part. So I tie a bow with my Tweely and I put it in like this. 
so it's very cute and I think it gives it a modern twist and I really like it that way and uh, I can play around with different twillies and I can tie twin twillies because it is black the color is really versatile so I can actually tie any color to match my outfits uh, but so far I've only tied it with this twilly but I have some other colors which I am going to try in the future uh, so that's basically that and um, to further elaborate how small it is I'm going to show you this and I have here uh, one dollar US one US dollar and this is exactly how small the bag is um MS uh, although Belit is a permanent style they stopped making the tiny Belit a uh, long long time ago and they now have a mini bleed which is bigger than this so as you can see the one if you have a mini bleed uh, a current mini bleed or if you have seen one you will see that the strap is uh wider it's like a three quarter inch strap so it's not like this thin and the whole bag is bigger and mostly made in epson leather like most of them are made in epson leather but i mean it's really really rare and you really won't you know it's really hard to find so and of course it's like a lot more expensive i think it retails at around 4700 usd pre-tax uh but this is of course um uh not as expensive as that one because it is vintage pre-loved uh some people call this a mini mini belit uh and some call it a tiny belit i prefer calling it a tiny belit because i think it's cuter and um it is a collectible it's a true collectible and uh, one day i might take it to, to the the hermes store uh, for cleaning um, and see what they can do with the healing and uh, the other things and I might ask them to replace this tag the kite shaped tag that is missing right here to complete the bag but it really depends on how much uh, they're gonna charge me so um, yeah so and you know detachable strap right here with the d-ring here this is the back and here is the front so it totally covers up the the cracking and uh, when I first got this bag, I thought I was going to tie tweelies around the handles, but then it was like a, a wrong move because the tweely is too long uh, and I have to wrap it like really double wrapping the whole thing, making this really, really thick and strange and uh, all disproportioned. So uh, I decided to tie it with a, a bow like this uh, to cover the, the this peeling up. Okay, so uh, this is my bag and I don't think I have anything more to say about this. Um, I, I have uploaded some OOTD uh, pictures on Pinterest to show you some uh, pairing, uh, outfit pairing with my bag. And so please go check it out if you have time, if you're interested. And I'm going to list all my bags in the description box down below. And if you're interested in seeing me uh, uh, reviewing the different bags that I have please let me know in the comment down below the previous video that I made was uh, on my Lindy 30 and the first one on my MS Toolbox 26 so the next video I'm going to make is going to be my Birkin 30 so um, please uh, subscribe to my channel leave me a comment give me some suggestions and I'll see you again next week bye